Let's get to it. YouTube, what is going on? Mesa Fungul back at it with some Destiny. And so me, Expat, and Falico finally beat level 35, Prison of Elder. So I'm going to show you the loot. And also, I uh, rolled and got one of those Judgment Chants or something it's called. We traded an Armor Core, Weapon Core, and I got something really cool. It's going to be at the end. Uh, the strategy we use uh, came from Expat, but it turns out he got it from the same video I watched, which is from Enkutch. Okay, so I'm going to link my friend Enkutch, uh, his video in the description, because I believe he was the first one to find this technique. First off, it's solar, okay? And yes, sadly, you are going to all need Gallahorns because the key is you got to kill Skolas as quickly as possible, then you're going to have to go through the sets of critical objectives, okay? But you're not going to be able to do the critical objectives unless Skolas is dead. Don't even attempt it. Now, you're going to see Skolas go down really, really fast, okay? Because uh, first off, all of us are level 34s. Uh, uh, we're all running Gallowhorns and it is solar. Now, I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty details. Basically, there were these two ghost servitors on each side of the room. You only got to worry about this one right here. Someone's got to designate one person to go up to that uh, servitor, kill it. I got my solar, Felwinter's Lie, blast it. I'm going to pop my weapons of light. Now, we're going to use that for two things. Okay, one, obviously, you know. For DPS damage, but also we're going to use that as protection to pop a heavy ammo sim. So that's why I'm wearing my uh, glass house so that it lasts longer. What you want to do is you want to go in here with seven Gallahorns, and then you want to be able to have your cooldown on your heavy ammo synth ready so that you can go pop a heavy ammo synth right here. So see for me, I just happen to catch two there, so I figured you know what, let me fire two rockets and then I'll pop my heavy ammo right here. So then going in there with seven galleys and then popping a heavy and having another seven galleys, that's pretty much enough to take him down. And then as soon as he's done, then you guys just run and uh, take care of the critical objectives, which are defusing these splinter mines. Those actually come out, um, they spawn as soon as he's about at 50% health, okay? But uh, don't worry about them. Just focus on Skullus, and as soon as uh, he's down, then go take them. And then that's it. You're up. You're like a glove. It's done. I actually found way four was way freaking harder with the uh, big annoying servitor. We were just doing... Actually, you know what? I'll give you a tip. Like, okay, the way we did the servitor, I don't even know what his name is. We basically played Ring Around the Rosie. We just kept running around the whole entire map in a circle. And as we were running, we were popping galleys into him. Running and running and running. Getting chased by all the captains. And then popping a heavy ammo synth. It's... It, it took about 30 minutes to do, but, um, you know, we made it through it. I don't know. Maybe you guys can leave me in the comment section an easier way to kill that big-ass server. But, so anyway, let's look at my loot drop, and then also, uh, let's roll the dice with some Judgment's Chance. I get something really cool. So, uh, I had two treasure keys, one from farming and one from one of those side chests at the level 30... I think it was 32... No, no, 34 chest I got a key from. One of those side chests here. So, I end up getting an armor core, weapon core, uh, etheric light, I get a shader, I got an emblem, but I ain't rocking that because I got my uh, Trials of Osiris exotic emblem. And then, uh, as for the ship, uh, the ship looks really freaking cool, but, um, uh, you know, I'm gonna use this ship on my Titan, but the Trials of Osiris ship is just straight banging. I got that one on my, uh, Warlock. At first, I was going to keep the Weapon Core and Armor Core. I said, ah, you know what, let's have some fun. Let's roll the dice, right? You just completed level 35, and sure enough, I get an LMG. I was glad. I didn't need armor. I got enough Etheric Light. I'm level 34 on all three characters. So here we go. The Chain of Orbix dash Fell or something. I don't know. It's Void. It's got Counterbalance, Shankburn. Why do they all have Shankburn? Extended Mag, and uh, let's see, Hammer Forge, and Fitted Stock. So really, really cool, guys. I'm just, I kind of wish it didn't have something that was... I mean, like, I get it. A lot of the Fallen themed weapons is, is all for the Fallen, so it seems a lot of them have the Shankburn thing on. Is it really effective? I don't know. Maybe it will be down the road if we ever get, like, a Fallen theme raid or something like that. Then it might come in handy, so I'm going to stockpile it. I just I have so many new toys I'm leveling up, guys. So many weapon reviews I'm going to go through with you guys. You have no idea. So that's it. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Zit Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. The links will be in the description. And that's it. You stay beautiful, Guardians.